Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today we have a guide for a unique one-handed axe known as the Poacher's Axe. Now, before we get into it, at some point, be sure to hit up my social medias. Links to them can be found down in the description. Down there is also a timestamp that will take you straight to the overview of the Poacher's Axe, if you so wish to skip straight there. Now, the Poacher's Axe may be a viable weapon early on in the game if you're trying to gather leather or just hunt animals in general for fun, whatever you want to do. But we'll get more into that a little later on. Now to get the Poacher's Axe we won't need to be on any particular level or do any particular quest or any of that jiggity jazz. All we need to do is come to the Halted Stream Camp, which I'm sure you've all been to before as it's right next to Whiterun and is also the destination of many Radiant Quests. On the map, Halted Stream Camp can be found just to the north or slightly to the north northwest of the city of Whiterun. It is filled with bandits and be sure to loot all of their corpses as the Poacher's Axe may spawn on any of them. However, it is most likely that it will be carried by an orc who sits at the grindstone in the final chamber of the dungeon. Again, it's not 100%, it could be any of them, but this guy on the grindstone, who is usually an orc, will usually be carrying the Poacher's Axe. So of course, clear all the bandits out and then most probably grab the Poacher's Axe off of the Orc at the Grindstone. When you fight him, he also won't use it in battle, so if you don't see him wielding it, don't fret. So now we've grabbed that board, let's check it out. The Poacher's Axe. It's got a base damage of 5, a swing speed of 1.3 swings per second. That leaves us with a base DPS of 6.5. It's got a reach of 0.7, a weight of 10, a value of 31. It can be upgraded with a Steel Ingot, which requires you to have the Arcane Blacksmithing perk. However, sadly, it does not benefit from any smithing perk, meaning to improve it beyond flawless quality, you will need to fortify your smithing beyond 100. And finally, it's enchantment. Three points of extra damage to animals. Now, the Poacher's Axe actually has a unique enchantment labeled the Huntsman's Prowess, which is something I use on Friday nights, ladies. Now, although it seems to be a common effect, it's actually a unique enchantment and is different from an enchantment we can find on similar items such as the Bow of the Hunt. Now, would you ever actually use this axe in game? You might at a very low level if you need to get yourself some deer hides and need that extra 3 damage to animals, although the axe's low as all lows base damage practically takes away everything that that extra 3 damage brings. So you'd probably end up doing more damage with an unenchanted weapon that just did better base damage, which is not hard given the poacher's axe has a base damage of 5. Also, hunting deer or any other type of creature or animal with this axe, it's just a bad idea. Using a bow is far superior. I direct you to the aforementioned bow of the hunt, which of course is a bow, so it's better for hunting and also its enchantment does 20 points of extra damage to animals, which is obviously superior to the 3 extra points of damage that the poacher's axe does. I do already have a full walkthrough guide for the bow of the hunt, you can find a link to that down in the description. Now the good news about the poacher's axe is that it can be disenchanted, which is an uncommon trait for uniquely enchanted items. So you can disenchant it, learn the enchantment, then enchant your own weapon to do extra damage to animals, which is the best case scenario really, and even then by the time you can make a substantial enchantment effect, you'll probably just want to enchant an item that does extra damage to everything and not just to animals. There is also a bug in the vanilla versions of Skyrim and the Skyrim SE, where the poacher's axe may spawn for sale in the inventory of shopkeepers despite the item being tagged as unique. So if you're lucky and buggy, you might just be able to get two of these piles of garbage. Now the base weapon of the poacher's axe is actually just a woodcutting axe, so it can actually still be used to cut wood. Of course having this unique variant doesn't change how you cut wood at all, maybe just you cut it with more style, cause you're like hey, I got a cool unique axe, and the wood's like hey it stinks, and then I'm like hey I should have thought about what I was saying in the video first. Here is a list of all the creatures slash animals in Skyrim that are considered to be animals, and will therefore take the extra 3 points of damage 
from the poacher's axe. The list is as follows, ash hoppers, bears, chorus, chickens, cows, death hounds, deer, dogs, elk, foxes, goats, hawks, orcas, horses, mammoths, mud crabs, netches, rabbits, saber cats, shellbugs, skeevers, slaughterfish, spiders, felsard terns, and wolves. And that is about that. The poacher's axe will be anything but poached by players. Anyway, collect it, sell it, ignore it, disenchant it, or like an egg, poach it. And here it is, the poacher's axe in action. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique woodcutter's axe known as the Poacher's Axe. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the old description, you can find links to my social medias, including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you are keen in supporting the channel and keeping up to date with what I'm up to. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos for you, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.